What's up, guys? Uh, this is a little reminder to join our Patreon. Um, you will get to see the lovely Jen Rufo's boobies because that's how much we care about our patrons. Right, King Croc? Absolutely. And let me tell you, they are a sight to see. <laughs> um, Buddy, not, check it they're out. not bad. So subscribe to our Patreon. You'll get an extra episode every week and every now and then some boobs. Some titties! Titties! Hello, everyone. Uh, you might see that to my right, it's not Danny on this Leo and Danny show, but it's King Croc. Yo, it's good, niggas. Once a year, Danny likes to take a sabbatical, right, King Croc? You've come to know him for a little bit more than a year now. Yeah, definitely. Once a I've year, noticed. he goes to find himself usually um, somewhere high up in the mountains with a nice view. He takes one of his good friends. Um, it's a male. It's a male. And they spend time together up there. They have fun. They do what they do. Okay. We don't know. We don't ask questions. Right. All I know is Danny comes back refreshed. Danny comes back with good ideas. Danny comes back ready to work. Mm. You know, and that's that's the important thing. Whatever he has to do in the mountains with that with his guy friend, it's his business. He's right? got to get his prostate drained, and then he's ready to make some content. <laughs> Whatever it may you be. Get we're, we're, we don't want to put that out there. We don't want to get we sued by Danny Mullen Enterprises. We're not saying that he does get his prostrate, prostate milked, although it's, there's evidence that maybe that is what he does up there. But that's, Danny's upgraded to enterprises now damn i didn't realize we were so big time all right now everybody knows that if you've been following the channel for a while this this podcast the leo and danny show that when danny's out of town what do we do king croc party it's time to party so i've been i've had about three of these uh these surges and they're eight percent so i'm feeling good dino over there uh he's high out of his mind and uh he's drinking one too this is great austin's got one and you might see this this little fellow that looks like a Latino Paul Giamatti. Pull, <laughs> pull up Paul Giamatti right now Paul because Giamatti. this is uh, this is uh, Pablo Giamatti right here sitting on the couch. Yeah, look at that. That's you, dude. Oh, shit. Right? Wait, does that really look like me? That looks a lot like you, dude, sir. Dude, you've got a resemblance. For and sure. uh, this guy uh, here, we're going to call you Giamatti on this podcast. Big all eyes. right. All right. Sounds good. Your name's Giamatti. Now, Giamatti, listen, uh, you're basically on this pod because you got fucking smoked in the hand, huh? By a, by a, by a stray bullet? Uh, no, it was uh, just some guy shot me. Road rage. Just some guy. Well, yeah. well, well, before we get to <laughs> jump to conclusions, what what did he do, right, King Croc? What did you do he to must, upset this guy? Yeah, what's going on, bro? Keep it a buck. All right, let's see. I was um, blackout drunk mm -hmm. at 3.30 in the morning, San Bernardino. Okay. And it happens a lot, actually. Car-to-car -car shootings. I'm The guy might have cut me off. Mm -hmm. I might have said some words. I don't really remember. You think you were throwing up gang signs, maybe? No, I don't fuck with that. Okay. <laughs> I don't live that life anymore, okay? Were you okay. spray painting Crip on the sides of any walls in that neighborhood? <laughs> Were you um, probably just, oh, Compton or something? Were you in the driver's seat? Yeah, or, you were just driving me. drunk. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you're oh, you're shit. admitting here on the Leo and Danny show that you were driving completely hammered out of your mind. Yeah, completely blacked out. Wow. I, I, a crime. Yeah. Yeah. Probably, I mean, probably he's, a felony to be honest. He looks Jewish, so it could have been a hate crime. Oh, what do you think? It could have just oh, been a little somebody, confusion. I'm, I'm only... Somebody could have thought you were a, a, a small Jewish Italian man named Paul Giamatti, and they just could have been pissed at maybe the fact that his last couple of movies have sucked. <laughs> okay. And they said, you know what, fucking Paul Giamatti, I'm going to fucking kill you, you <laughs> no. son of a bitch. <laughs> For the record, I'm, that I'm only 1.4% Jewish. I did the 23 in me. So. Oh, cool. I, I have a little Ashkenazi Jew yeah. as well. That's Does any kind of look like if there was a sequel... Of Seinfeld, where he had like a fuck up son, it would be this guy. <laughs> okay, Should I that's, wish? Austin, are you saying that he oh, looks like an autistic son. Jerry Seinfeld? Yeah, ex exactly. <laughs> well, uh, try, type in. I just I'm curious what's on Google. Let's type in autistic Jerry Seinfeld, and if it's you, Giamatti, it would be funny. But uh, we don't want to we don't want to get on you too much. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, Giamatti's a hoe. He's yeah, cool. Let's see, autistic Jerry Seinfeld. Uh, it's just it's just a picture of Jerry it's Seinfeld. Just Jerry. But I see what you're saying. Just <laughs> Jerry, dude. The <laughs> truth is, Jerry. you look like a combo of Jerry Seinfeld and Paul Giamatti, <laughs> pretty pretty much to the T. But it it would be with Yo. like the I don't know who the women were in their relationship because they didn't help you in the looks department too much. But that's okay because you're not done evolving yet. 
How old are you? 29. You're 29 years old. Okay, you're a little closer to being done evolving. Right. Actually. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm... I told but, him that... That's the... a good thing. You look young. You look very young, which is a good thing. Good point. Good point. And you're a Leo and Dandy Show fan, correct? Yes. You Nancy were at the faced. meetup, and I really respect you for coming out here, and I appreciate that. I told him he had a good face for television because he looks like he could either be 12 or 45. <laughs> <laughs> and I will attest to the fact that yeah. the Leo and Dandy Show has gotten me more pussy. Fuck yeah, dude. That's what? huge. Here you go. This you is my fucking kid. Hey, this is about. my this is my small Steve will do it moment. Here's forty dollars. You can keep it. It's yours. It's all yours, Giovanni. That's because and, you're a fan. Hey, look at that moment, guys. You see that? You see that? The kid $40. got forty bucks. Forty fucking dollars. That's how you change the world, dude. Am I gonna have to pay for this? Later, uh, Some, somehow. Yeah, never mind. We'll talk. Leo's about gonna later. save the world one incel at a time. One incel at a time, buddy. So we got you some pussy. How did that happen? Tell us a story. Oh, I know it's the difference in between oh, our. Mine, dude. Well, it's... <laughs> Grok's fucked up. This is gonna be a great pod. All right, Giamatti. How what? What? How did you get pussy from the Leo and Danny show? Well, Give me confidence. Give I me watched confidence. Mad Men. Mm-hmm. And I watch Peaky Blinders. Shut up, dude. Are you serious? Yeah. I watch Peaky Blinders from start to finish. It took me like three or four days. Damn. And yeah. yeah. Dude, how much? Okay. See, got... Thank you firsthand. How much did you grow watching Peaky Blinders? Peaky Blinders. You know, there's a reason why they make those Sigma male edits on YouTube. Mm hmm. You just you just gotta act like the guy fucking yep. peaky fucking blind is dude. And, See, and, and, and the, you radiate this energy and mm -hmm. you just get pussy, dude. Giamatti, dude. Holy oh. shit, you made me so proud. I have a tear coming down from my eye right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wish I could show you. My glasses are in the way, of course. But That's I incredible. no, I swear to God, dude, you, that makes me happy. What did you think about Mad Men? Would you take from Mad Men? I actually didn't watch Mad Men. I just watched okay, Peaky that's Blinders. Next. Peaky Blinders is great, though, and everybody should watch Peaky Blinders. It's just got two of the, the most alpha fucks right in front of your eyes. You can study them. You can take what you want. I know it's it, it doesn't make any sense now, but when you see these television shows, your life might change. Look at Giamatti. He's on this couch right now because he got fucking shot in the hand. All right? You listen to that, Leo and Danny Show get fans? Shot, nigga. To give here, all mm -hmm. you have to do is... You get fucking shot, almost mm. die, and then show up to a live pod. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Okay, now when you did get shot, uh, what, what? I'm just curious. The first thought that went through your mind when you saw you you literally a bullet went through your hand. Uh, you yeah. can be honest about what race you assumed it was. You just I would like if there it. were racial prejudices when you got shot. That's the first thing we need to know. Uh, yeah, I didn't honest. see the guy. I just saw it was a white car. Um, but yeah, oh, a Persian guy then. A BMW was it a Persian guy? It was like a. Nissan Altima, probably. Oh, Nissan Altima, Latino. Yeah. Leo, yeah. he was probably black. Was, Come on. No, no, it was a Latino. Oh. Nissan, uh, Nissan Yo, and San Bernardino. What? Nissan and San Bernardino. The money's on his Latino. That guy's a fucking Latino. Yeah, dude. Altima's dude. Yeah, well, or well, chick. What went through my mind? Uh huh. Um, thankfully, it wasn't a bullet. Yeah. But uh, I, just, <laughs> I I felt something smack the fuck out of my hand. Uh huh. And I look down. I look at my hand. There's blood, there's blood dripping down my fucking shirt. Oh my god! And I look back up, and I'm fucking going sideways into a post, mm -hmm. uh, concrete post at 65 miles an hour. So Ooh. airbag hits me. After that, I got knocked out for a bit, oh and my god, I, bro. I woke up in the car, dust everywhere because of the fucking yeah. bag. Yeah. I tried to open the door with this hand. It wasn't wasn't happening, so I just opened the fucking door and I just threw myself out. There was already Jesus, people around bro. by that time, so I That's must good. have been knocked out by like five minutes. Or Damn, something like that. Bro. I just I just remember this uh, black lady just like just just stay still, baby. They're on their way. They're on their way. I'm just like, what the fuck? I fucked up, dude. This is insane, man. And and to that, you know what I'm gonna say to that boys? Yeah. What are you gonna say, Leo? Lift your white claw in the air, cause he took that like a fucking champ, huh? One to Jeez. Giamatti. Take a sip but for Giamatti. Giamatti for taking that fucking shot. He took a. He went 65 into a pole after getting shot in the hand and survived. Look at him. Fucking Giamatti, dude. Giamatti. Yeah. Giamatti. Hey. <laughs> Let's go. On that note, uh, so then what happens next? Do you go, uh, I don't have insurance. I actually do have insurance. Fuck yes, dude. See, because you have your shit together. Yeah, Dino, do you have insurance? Hell no, I ain't got no insurance. Dino doesn't have insurance, yeah, no. but you do, Giamatti. He could probably qualify for Medicare. 
I think he would probably qualify for Medicare, man. You'd be, you'd probably be fine. He'd have to be able to read the paperwork. Yeah. Uh, they, you would like ruin. You couldn't sign the paperwork five times in a row. They'd be like, it's really, it's just right next to the X. We cool. highlighted it for you. We ha- we we put up this big neon so- thing on it, and you still missed it. All right. He could just make his mark. He could just yeah. He could yeah, just, he just put an X on there. Yeah, he could just put a line. They kept so, handing him the Spanish paperwork because they thought he was Mexican. Do you know? Um, it's funny that you do look like a young Guatemalan boy from uh, the you know Guatemala that you might find on the internet. You know what I mean? He's kind of like those little skinny kids running around the favelas in Brazil. He does look Ooh. like an underfed South American. <laughs> you know? Yeah, dude. What is what's up with that? Man? You look like a yeah. You do actually look Argentinian and Chilean. I got hella tan just these two days. I'm in the sun. Hmm. So back to Giamatti. When you woke up out of that uh, concussion, need I say, uh, were there any religious thoughts? Were there mm. any? Did you think about your mother, your sister, your father, the guy that diddled you in elementary school, anything like that? Well, I had I had that black lady, nice black lady. Um, I had her call my mom actually. That's great. You're like, oh my mom. Oh, yeah, she was on her way to El Paso. Uh-huh. I unfortunately ruined their vacation. They Why had- did you tell her anything? You're fine. Yeah, but it was it was the first thing, you know. He only I got thought, shot. Yeah, I only got yeah, was... almost killed in the yeah, fucking crash. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, listen, Giamatti, you're a fucking beast, and it was the right thing to do. Let your mom know, like that you're a hero. Did you call her and say, <laughs> "Hey, mom, I just want you to know, <laughs> I'm a fucking hero." I should probably start rapping. No, okay, wait, stop. You can rap in a second, but what about this? What what about? <laughs> What about we call your mother? Listen, I, it's my it's it's our turn to have fun. I like to call people. She doesn't speak English. Perfect. I speak Spanish. <laughs> well, I said, tu uh, hijo. Lo paso quiaron. That means they shot him up. That's how I'm gonna start. It. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna start it. <laughs> what did your shot What did your mom up. think? You moved to L.A. and the first thing that happens is you get shot. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I think it was bound to happen, to be honest. I mean, I kind of looked for it. You have a shootable <laughs> face. Yeah, people see me. They just they either want to punch me or they want to shoot me for some reason. You said it was road rage. What did you do to piss the guy off enough to shoot you in the hand? But I do remember he cut me off, and I might have like honked. That's all it takes nowadays. You just honk at somebody, and that's it. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I have, I've dealt with road rage in the past, and I'm not. I'm not proud of it. I tried to, you know, talk shit to people, you know, like one of my saddest moments is when like some bitch ass nigga cuts me off or fucking is riding my bumper or some shit. I pull up next to him and it's a woman. And so I I can't really talk shit. I get really frustrated when that happens. But my point is I have learned from your experience that that's nothing to play around with. Niggas could just shoot you. Yeah, I think I love yelling shit out the window but they could just pull a gat on me and fucking he probably wasn't even talking shit and he got shot the general um thing to take home from your story is let's not engage with crazy people especially in san bernardino i mean that's where inland iggy's from and you know he's not exactly (sighs) the most sane person that we know right pretty violent well even in la like anybody could have a gun nowadays um but More I, people should have guns. Working at Amazon, I actually Jesus got Christ. I got propositioned like three or four times to buy a gun working at Amazon. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm what just... do you mean? Uh, what, like uh, the employees? Yeah. Or, oh, okay, it wasn't like the manager. Like, hey, listen, uh, every now and then uh, there's a little break in. And we wouldn't discourage you from, you know, arming yourself in order to, you know, maybe take a shot at these assailants. They didn't tell you anything. It wasn't to defend the warehouse or anything like that. No way. Um, we do go through metal detectors. Is that an airport? I'm probably not going to have a job after this anyways. Mm. Um, well, you still work there to this day? I'm supposed to go back on February. Uh, I mean, to in to October. The airport? Yeah, in October. Nice. Well, so you want to keep your So job. wait, who is coming up to you at Amazon saying you want to get strapped? Son? Well, it's, keep in mind, they employ anybody. All you need to have is a fucking pulse. Right. So, <laughs> yeah, you got all types of people in there. It's a, honestly, it's a great place to network. If mm-hmm. you want to fucking start a podcast, yeah. buy a fucking stolen camera buy a gun buy drugs so there's a okay so there is a criminal underworld oh definitely in in the amazon warehouses yeah now who do you think 
in this crew right now in this room would do the best in the criminal underworld of Amazon? I think probably Dino. Dino, he, 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 he gets a, he gets a lot of shit, uh -huh. but he's really a smart guy. He's so you're saying he's unassuming. He's like a double agent per se. Oh yeah, he plays dumb in order to manipulate. I think Dino would be the kind of guy. He um, he'll be hooking up the managers mm -hmm. with like guns and drugs, oh, and then he'll shit. be he'll be having sex with the HR lady. Holy! So shit. he wouldn't even have to work. So really, he's the king. He doesn't need to do. He doesn't need to clock in. He gets his paycheck. No, the every HR month. lady. HR lady would clock him in. Gotcha. He wouldn't even have to show up. Probably just to fuck in the bathroom or something. Right, right. So he shows up to give her a little pleasure, give her that D, and then he goes back home, smokes, plays video games, jerks off. But he's got to give her that D on the dot, on regular, right. on the regular. I could see Dino taking care of that. No, That'd we, be his one thing to do. He probably tell like he probably say it on live stream. Hey guys, gotta go fucking fuck this milf. Yeah. See, ya, uh, uh, it's my job now. I'm, <laughs> I'm like Leo, fuck, dude, fucking sugar mama shit. Yo, he has been looking for sugar mamas mm -hmm. in grocery stores across LA. Dude, I might have Try. found one. Like, I almost fucked this milf the other day. Oh, she has shit. like an 18 year old son, or I guess this was like a couple weeks ago, and uh, she's a doctorate in psychology. And I was like sucking on her titties and shit, but at one point, she told me that I might be autistic. I was like, "That's oh, messed yeah. up, bro. What the fuck? How could you?" She said, "Maybe she's into it." You, how did you get to the sucking on the titties? It. What do you mean? Uh, I was just where was sat this? down on the couch, turned on the music or whatever, and I just started making out with her. Okay, basically at her house. Yeah. Okay, so listen, I will gladly. Um, Fixed. She's hot. You would whatever, like her, Leo. Whatever happened between you guys, I can I can mend it. And I will mend it if you agree to this one small thing. Her son or daughter, who's 18, you ask him to be on your pod. Say, hey, it's just this little pod I do with me and my friends. You want to be on it and, you know, have some fun? And maybe, what if, uh, he'd probably be mad that I was fucking with his mom. Well, listen, listen, no, listen. We sit him on the couch, and then me, you, and Danny, we all break the news to the, to him that you've been fucking his mom yeah. on the podcast. That'd be legendary. If you do that Straight then up. then I will we can we can start working on this chick. Yeah, cuz we were we were talking about the YouTube stuff or whatever and how like oh I just don't care about people's like opinions online or I don't really give a fuck what people think. She was like, "Well, then maybe you have autism." Jesus. I was like, I'm just not a pussy. I don't have autism. I mean, maybe, <laughs> maybe I do, maybe, but what the fuck? Maybe it's Asperger, you know. It's the high functioning. By the way, do you have her number? Yeah, I do. Let's. Why don't you text her right now and say something uh, romantic out of nowhere? She's not going to expect it. Okay, I need to find it. I don't have her number saved under a name, but I can find it under right, messages. All right, Sorry, when you find it, let me know. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. we'll uh, we'll check in with Giamatti back to his near death experience in San Bernardino. So, have you learned your lesson? I mean, I know that you uh, are you not allowed to drive right now anymore, or did they not give you a DUI or anything? Yeah, surprisingly, <clears throat> surprisingly, no. Wow, so they didn't test you at the... Yeah, most of my friends are saying it's white privilege or oh. something, but it, I think it's more like light-skinned Mexican privilege because the cop the cop that showed up, uh -huh. he was also light-skinned Mexican. So Okay, so he was like my this brother. young Chicano just got smoked. His hand is just fucked. Yeah, we actually look like we could be cousins. He kind of looked like a retarded Jerry Seinfeld as well. Really? Yeah. <laughs> It was nice. Um, how's the scar? What's the what's the hand gonna look like one day? Uh, I got a big scar along the second metacarpal. Uh -huh. That's where they put the T plate in. Uh -huh. Um, I got a little scar in the middle of the hand and uh, yeah, one T plate metacarpal. These are all new to me. I never heard of this. So I how, just put some metal in my hand. Now what are, what's gonna be? How are you gonna be able to use your hand? Are you gonna be like Wolverine, dude? Can it extend out of your hand? Is it adamant? So you can use it as a weapon. How do you say it? How do you say the metal? Adamantium. Yeah. Is it gonna be? I hope so. Just get like a fucking awesome. strong ass hand. Hey, that's fucking awesome. Just that's fucking awesome. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> hey, listen, we've gone. I'm doing a pod much like I would have when I was 19 years old today, which is great. It feels good. Oh yeah. Um. Anyway, hot. just backhand a bitch. Uh. Yeah, how? Man. Okay. So let's talk about honestly, Leo. I'm yeah. surprised you haven't asked this question yet. Let's talk about the pussy. How has that been affected by your claw hand? my claw hand um this one girl I was fucking uh she was actually disappointed because i can't grab both of her arms behind her back anymore but oh, gotcha. i just do it with one hand she kind of helps me out okay, she has to help you out maybe yeah. this is a good time to introduce handcuffs Ooh. oh yeah that's good 
Also, I mean, look, I'm going to tell you the truth right now. The scar is only going to aid you in getting pussy. I mean, if I was shot in the hand and I had a scar and I could tell stories about that, I mean, I basically would just have to move to another country because of the amount of <laughs> pussy I'd be drowning in. I'd be drowning in so much pussy. It would just be ridiculous. I would, I would, I would literally be coming such a sex addict that I would be near death um, most days. Yeah, it kind of clouds you up, ass. doesn't it? Oh, it clouds you up. That's why you're on this podcast sharing the story of the time that you got just fucking smoke. Yeah, hand. my friend was like, did you try to stop the bullet with your hand? I probably did, to be honest. That's because you're a fucking, you're Superman, dude. Because that's because you're fucking Superman, Giamatti. You're a hero. So that's my name now, Giamatti. Mm -hmm. Paul Giamatti. motherfucking Giamatti. Leo, I've been, been going through it recently, man. How so? You stressed? Yeah, dude, people keep doubting that I have a BBC. That's BS, man. It's really I know you have a BBC. Me. Well, let me tell you something. You know what you need to deal with that stress of people saying that you don't have a BBC? Mm. You need CBD, buddy. CBD, CBD isn't about what you feel. It's about what you don't feel. Stress, anxiety, pain. Mm. So I've been dabbling with, in, uh, with some CBD and feels cbd is what i've been dabbling with now it's a feels is a better way to feel better i've been taking mm. it and uh, guys if i'm if i'm gonna try to um describe exactly what feels makes me kind of feel which is funny that you you know it's feels. play on words yeah 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 I take a I take uh, a couple drops under my tongue, right? Uh -huh. CBD. Yeah. And there's an instant kind of relaxation. It's an instant kind of mm. flow state where I feel good. So when I get home and I'm depressed about yeah. all the other kids at school no. telling me you don't really have a BBC. Right. When you're pissed about those damn little bastards yeah. defaming your your BBC name, mm -hmm. you take a little feels. But listen. Yeah, on a serious note, I take it. It makes me feel, uh, basically, it makes me feel like I can just handle anything that's coming at me because I'm in, a, I'm on on that even keel, feeling good place. You know, mm, feeling it, it, good. It, it feeling good. It's almost like a, I don't want to say it's like a little buzz because it's not, but it's 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 just like a. It's like the calm before the storm. You know, it's like the day is about to approach, and I'm feeling like. I could take on the day because it's I'm on that even keel and it, it's really good stuff. So CBD naturally helps reduce stress, anxiety, pain and sleeplessness. There's no hangover or addiction to it, which is nice. I, um, I I've been taking it in like like I'll I'll go off it a, a couple of days and I'll get back on it. It's not something that I'm like uh, like addicted to, like fiending like most of my friends for for alcohol and, and you know weed. If I'm being honest, mm -hmm. so I just place a few drops of feels under my tongue and I feel the difference literally within minutes and uh wow, that's that yeah the thing to remember about cbd is that finding your right dose is is important because everybody's dose is different mm -hmm. you know i don't think i need as much as like you know obviously austin and dino they probably need more you yeah. know what i mean yeah. so if you need a dose of uh chill on the go as i call it uh pop one of the feels in uh it's new D cbd infused mints for a clear-headed feeling i i have messed with the mints and they're phenomenal uh and bonus uh it gives you a fresh breath can't cry mm. you know what i'm saying in fact feels offers a free Sounds cbd good. hotline this is what i love i i pranked their hotline once i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna lie i got i got a little drunk and i, I pranked their hotline but <laughs> feels offers a free cbd hotline to help guide your personal experience so that you find your perfect dose the feels customer service team they uh they they're dedicated and how right, often to making this... sure you get the best use of your cbd but how yeah. often is this available yeah well you can it's you can joining the feels monthly membership makes you your self-care easy okay mm. uh join feels it's a monthly membership you'll save money on every order and you can pause or cancel anytime all right so start feeling better with feels become a member today by going to feels.com slash lds and you'll get 50 percent off your first order with free shipping that's feels.com slash lds to become a member and get 50 percent automatically taken off your first order with free shipping feels.com slash lds works for me right in the feels i'm not bald though 
You're not bald? Yeah, you should you change look, your Instagram you handle. You look like you're balding. Though. I'm bald. You should, you should, but no, I'm not bald, bald yet. Um, you should change your Instagram handle to Latino Paul Giamatti. <laughs> your hairline sort of reminds me of a baby when they're born. <laughs> Yeah. He's got the baby head. Cut. My ex-girlfriend yeah, used to head. smell the top of my head and said it reminded her of a baby. Oh, really? It's Dude, fucking that weird. Is, she wanted to... Wow, I don't know. I think she yeah. want, She was one of those women that maybe wanted you to be in diapers. Ooh. There is that type. She was really into age play. All the time we would go out. Cause she was six, play? She was six years older, so she would always talk about... Oh, people are gonna think you're. I'm your mom. People are gonna like say. I'm well, like, but did, Yo, did, chill. did anybody really? I mean, did anybody really think that? Or no, but she liked. Both? She liked. She it. wanted that. Yeah, that was her whole thing. That was her fetish. The the fact that I was six years younger than her. I see. And how? What happened to that? How'd you fuck that up? Drinking. Drinking got me are into it. Are you an it. alcoholic? Uh. I guess you could say that functioning alcoholic. Okay, somewhat. what do you? When's the hey. first? Hey. A normal day. Normal day. Yeah, I know. I know. King Croc has been <laughs> no, no, intervention no. time. No, listen. Uh, King Croc's been okay. kind of worrying me a little bit. He's been drinking a lot of hard A all day, every day. Well, and... hard A is superior. That's the only reason I drink it. Sure. Leo, because I'm like you, uh, a bodybuilder of sorts. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I care about my physical fitness. Yeah. And. The amount of liquid and carbohydrates you have to drink to get drunk yeah. from normal beverages is ridiculous, man. So I'm doing the calorie effective method, which is straight tequila, no filter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're going to drink, uh, it might as well be hard day, but I need, you need to supplement it with a little water every now and then. Are you, are you, are you, you know, you're getting, uh, it's a lot of. It's a lot of mileage on your liver, and it, it ages you. So watch out. I know you're black, and you're not going to age like uh, like the regular humans, but still. She just texted me back. What'd she say? Nice. I said, hey there, hottie. How have you been? All and right. she said, hi, Austin. Good, thanks. How are you? All right, we're going to get stay straight to the nitty-gritty. We, <laughs> we need to go someplace quickly. Should I just ask her if I can have her son on my podcast? No, 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 no. <laughs> let's, let's go with the old... How to get sexting started 101 by Leo Dottavio. Oh, let's I hear. had a dream about you last night. I oh, had a dream oh about God. you yeah. last this night. This is about to, about to get, get real wet, good. Oh my She's God. gonna follow up with was it good or bad? This is about to get real good. <laughs> yeah, over the course of the pod, you can just give me pointers on what to say to the exactly. milk. Exactly. Let fun. me know. Let me know what that that would be a great that's gonna be a great time. I should honestly just give you her number. You'd fucking I could I could like send her, it bro. back to you. I could literally send it back to you and be like, Austin, she's coming over at uh, eleven PM tonight. <laughs> and all you have to do is get rose, brute rose. She doesn't like sweet rose, so just get brute. She's rose. like super rich, successful doctor, used to be <laughs> like in news television and now has like a private practice of psychology so but, uh, it's leo's fucking this, type man this is this is uh <laughs> this is a woman that within a week from now you go hey how are you i'm sad S sad face and she goes oh what's wrong austin and you go i just i really i saw this jacket i really really wanted at zara but <laughs> I, I just have to wait till like Austin. two paychecks from now to like get it, but it's. I mean, does that really work? Leo, you, uh, well, does that really work? I don't know. It. Try it, buddy. <laughs> is that how you got the eggplant suit? Uh, this, this is you nailed. It. The, yeah, you sugar mom, I'm feeling it. real sad. I saw this eggplant. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Unitard that I've been really wanting to buy. Yeah, but so the podcast just hasn't it. been doing so well lately. You nailed it. So basically, <laughs> I, I did get this uh, this eggplant uh, uh, fucking onesie from the sugar mama. Yes, it, it is how I got it. Swear. I uh, I didn't uh, exactly say I wanted it, but you know what? She knows what I like to wear, and this is uh, this is quite the fit. What do you think about this fit, King Croc? I think it goes hard, honey. It does basically just say like I have a huge cock. It says that I have a big either that or I fun. really am searching for huge cock, which, <laughs> which is unfortunate. Yeah. But I have to be honest, it does. If I was walking around in West Hollywood with this on, I mean, you'd have some are... gay black barbers chasing you down the street. Exactly. Or I, I mean, there's a high the high percentage chance that I'm I'm probably gonna get sexually assaulted. Yeah, man, it happens when you're big like us. They think we can just touch all over and we oh, can do whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah. But you know, I'm working on my aggro vibe so they know oh i want to touch that nigga, that nigga all right so what is the aggro vibe okay so for example i knew a, a latino from the hood once mm. yeah and he told me that he had something he called a mask 
which meant what his face was when he went outside in front of other dudes. You know what mm. I mean? To know that he wasn't fucking around. Mm -hmm. Would you say you it's have something a, like you, that? You have a mask? Absolutely. Let you me see your mask. The mask. Uh, so this is the aggro vibe. <clears throat> Don't fuck with me. Okay, there it is. It's, nobody, just, <laughs> it's just a slight kind of eyebrow shift with a little bit of aloofness and a little bit of breathing. I get the snarling kind of I like it's almost like a horse. It's almost like a bull in in its pen. I get it. <laughs> and listen, really the point is it's more about the entire body, right? They say seventy three percent of communication seventy three is done through body language. How they how they get it down to seventy three? Those mathematicians. How they've the done the studies. They do it? Only nine percent is verbal. Right. Okay. So your facial structure, the way you're holding yourself, your body language, your posture, yeah. and most importantly, your eye contact. Yes. I never let a nigga mm -hmm. or a homie. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. It's a lot of Southsiders, a lot of Hispanics all around L.A. Right. Mm -hmm. I never let one of them outlook me in the eye. Mm -hmm. You're going to break before me or you're going to say, what's up? Damn. Period. Either we're saying what's up to each other or you're looking away because I'm definitely not looking away. All right. So I'm your not mindset, pushed. your mindset's eye contact until you say what's up, nigga. Yeah, there it is. Exactly. And if you don't say what's up, then you better look away. You better look away or you want Damn. some you want some smoke or what? I love that. You That's think what, the kind what's of vibe Dino, you got to have not to get fucked. What do you think Dino's approach is? He just walks around looking at the ground and going, I wonder <laughs> I wonder if I got an <laughs> ant farm. If I got an ant farm, I wonder how long I could keep him alive. Yeah. <laughs> you think that would be accurate? <laughs> meanwhile, you're so like, funny. meanwhile, you're having a battle with each and every Viking coming along the trail, yeah. much like me. It is a big guy thing, and Dino will maybe Absolutely. maybe one day if he gets like two hundo for some reason, like if he does like roids like two three times over, and like I don't know, develop some kind of like a binge disorder where he actually eats. Maybe he if he got to like two hundred, he would he would have that big guy thing. You got to hit the streets with Dino, man. He's got game. Croc seen it firsthand. <laughs> I know, dude. He's got yeah, game. Random bitches love him. <laughs> He's got game because uh, yeah, he is. I mean, because of the media and the feminization of men, Damn, there's a lot of women. Take Leo yeah, to Davio, there's what? a lot of women. There's a lot of women that like a skinny little motherfucking Gumby looking motherfucker like Dino. But look, Dino's got other attractive things about him. He's not True. just a skinny. He's he's got decent hair and. You know what I mean? He's got a general I don't give a fuck vibe, which exactly. which works. He's just gotta work on his body language. Like like, yeah. like he as he was saying, his seventy four percent. Dino yeah. needs to learn how to stand up straight and not tilt yeah. his head to the side. I would love yeah, he does look like a human question mark most days. <laughs> he probably has scoliosis. I'm sorry. Dude, Dino. dude, Dino, do you <laughs> I think you should only like I could prescribe something. If you look like Dino out there, if you're one of our fans and you look like Dino. You have to do like half our fans. It's true. Yeah. If you got if you have a concave motherfucking chest, you can eat a fucking cereal out of you, motherfucker. <laughs> if your chest is so that you could put fucking frosted flakes in there, throw some <laughs> almond milk in there and eat, dude. If it's that Third concave, uh, you need to do wide grip pull ups for a, like do them every day and then do wide push ups, but also dips. If you do that. Just, just that. You don't even have to do anything else for a while. If you let's start with forming your body in the right way, and also swimming can uh, can counteract the effects of the the shoulder in swimming can open you up and get that lat spread. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. You can undino yourself. You can undino yourself and become a Chad like because we're all Chad. born like Dino. I mean, I didn't. I wasn't born a fucking big dude. King Croc wasn't born a was just born a, a fucking just a fucking linebacking looking motherfucker. You know what I mean? He wasn't born like that. He had to eat his way to the top. You know Absolutely. what I mean? I was the smallest person in my family for the longest time. Uh, we just got uh, a confirmation that we will have a woman on this podcast. and Because we got it like that. Yeah. Oh, and... she, the, she's MILF is asking for details. What, what, oh, what do my I God. Say? Okay, the next. Okay, so. You, so, so uh, to, do you want us to take it, Leo? Yeah, I'll take it. Exactly. All right, so. Leo we have a couple master. of storylines on this podcast. Giamatti got sh smoked. He got smoked. But he's the man. He's a legend. He saw God. He's a better man because of it. Now yeah. we have also this MILF that Austin made out with and sucked on some titties, and then it went south. Now we're trying to v revive it mm -hmm. so that 
he can then maybe have a sugar mama, much like I did. Because mm-hmm. she's much loaded. like I do. All right. Yeah. So so far we have, hey there, hottie, how you been? Uh, and she goes, hi, Austin. Good, thanks. How are you? Austin re- replies with, I had a dream about you last night. She goes, details, happy face. This is where you play. <laughs> this is where you play the, oh, my God, I'm blushing card, as I call it. So you go, oh, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> if I can tell you. It's embarrassing and inappropriate. <sighs> It's embarrassing. Nice. What a meister. And He's like a and Gundam meister. The viewers are getting a firsthand inappropriate Sugar Mama 101 right now. Literally. Yes. We should bring out the whiteboard. Dude, we should be taking notes. Listen, you and the audience take, take notes. notes. All right. So I don't know if I can tell you it's embarrassing and inappropriate. Happy face. You can take this back for now. Okay. Let me know what your response again. Fucking so, five. so far, we're going to get to sexing this Sugar Mama. To the point where she actually, we might get to like asking her for money to, in, on this podcast. Should we do that? <laughs> that fuck it, dude. dude I, I haven't talked to her in like three weeks. We're going to go, boys. And I don't care how, if it crashes gonna and go burns, hard. we're going to go from sexting to asking for a little cash to maybe he has to send a dick pic. To yeah. asking for a little cash, maybe buying lunch for the boys, dude. And maybe we'll, some we'll titties. We'll get like some lunch for the boys and maybe some titties. Yo, Giamatti, clap for us, man. Giamatti, oh, we're one really, really, really going to say that? Yeah. So we will be having a, it's a girl that does OnlyFans, but she also is much more than that. She was a Nets cheerleader. Oh, dude, she knows basketball players. Yup. Right? Dude, I can't just lie to this shit. She, no, she look doesn't like a know fool, basketball. Dude. It doesn't matter if you look like a fool, you jerk. Why, are you trying to get some pussy on this pod? Nah, nah. nah. Yeah, you I are. she's got a boyfriend. You trying to get some pussy on this pod? I think she got a boyfriend. I looked at her. She, maybe, have, she maybe has a boyfriend, but we can yeah. ask. We can confirm. We can confirm. Um, check the logistics. So, yeah, we can check, of course. Is um, she hot? She's very hot. She's pretty Her hot. name is Jen Rufo. And uh, she's an attractive woman, and we're gonna have some fun. It's part of the uh, the gig today. She's also, I think, she's gonna do no jumper today as well. So hell yeah, that'll that'll be cool. Now, um, <clears throat> on that note, so we got a couple storylines coming. Um, Giamatti, what's up? I want to know uh, when the most pain hit, because getting shot in the hand, people are gonna. I always, I've always thought to myself. What would it feel like to get shot? I mean, not that I want to get shot, but you know what I mean. Like, I'm just curious. You know what? What do you? Th- what was the pain level? And before you answer that, I just want to relay my experience. Whenever I get shot in my dreams, which happens a lot, I always feel a searing. It's like a red hot pain in a certain spot, and it's like air starts going through it, and then I notice I'm shot. Is that kind of how it feels for you? Well, keep in mind I was blackout drunk. I think I was like one point three. So he just shot you for driving drunk. You know, you, you deserved it at that point. He was like, this DUI motherfucker, I'm going to... Honestly, the other guy was being the hero. He was getting this menace off the streets. <laughs> well, look. Uh, no, but... You know, the surgery said, hurt Leo, more. Let him answer what he... he yeah, yeah. The surgery hurt more. The surgery hurt more. So really? when you woke up from the surgery, when? Yeah, for like three or four days, my hand was in fucked up pain. After the surgery, uh, when I got shot, it really didn't hurt that much, to gotcha. be honest. And so what do they give you to deal with the pain, and do you have any more of it? Uh, I had some Norcos, but mm. I ran out. They did give me fentanyl. I don't know what all the big fuss is about. I didn't what? feel anything. Really? They gave you fentanyl. Well, it's probably such minuscule amounts. It's probably like a just a tiny little tad. Uh, I mean, it would kill you if it was enough. All right, buddy? All right, don't fucking... Like, some of our fans are out there hitting fentanyl. We don't yeah. want it. We want to discourage you from doing any of those hardcore drugs, Okay. Actually, if you are a fan that does hit fentanyl, I would like to know in the comments. Yeah, hit us up. <laughs> that is pretty interesting to we me. Would like to hear I just want to know you. if and how <laughs> that works. Absolutely. And then it, maybe you could come on, come on the pod. <laughs> we could figure all that out. You know, any guys that hit that fentanyl? I'm surprised. Let though, us know. Because I thought they'd be giving morphine. Is that like a thing in the past? Now it's fentanyl they inject. Yeah, I guess it's fentanyl now. All right, so it would make you loopy. Like what? Did, could you drink some alcohol on it? Like, how did you deal with the pain? Uh, that was just uh, the fentanyl was just at the hospital. I would, uh, they gave me narcos, which suck. Like I said on the podcast, on the live pod, yeah, narcos suck ass. Um, but I never really felt high on anything. People, some people, they could barely take an op- opioid, but I don't know. It's okay. not that bad. Uh, do you think that uh, it's something you could grow to be addicted and maybe start sucking dick on the street for heroin? Because that's what it, it goes from. 
oxys, you know what I mean? Opiates, painkillers. It goes to sucking dick and heroin on the street. So what I mean, where are you yeah. on the between sucking dick on the street for heroin and uh, a pill addiction? I'm not really into opioids. I'm more into this stuff right here. So, mm. yeah. GABA, GABA receptor activity, I got it. There, I, I see what you're saying, though, Leo. There is definitely some sort of link between, like, hardcore drug use and homosexuality. Oh, yeah, Somewhere so? along the lines, there's a correlation oh, yeah. well, causation. That's now, I think it's a lot of... Sorry, it, I, I was saying more that you'll do anything for the drug because the drug ends up being who you are. Yeah. And uh, you might end up doing something, you know that sounds terrible like sucking a dick you know what i mean i don't think yeah. you ever really come back from it because you're always a cocksucker huh those black guys on the streets they would, would didn't let you come back from it Dude, they I said know. one dick sucking was enough yeah that was uh attractive. i don't know how that happened but that was one of the most like <laughs> just funny. naturally funny moments in uh that i ever experienced in my life <laughs> with a with a guy it was just like it was so clearly like we were just improving and fucking around so heavily how did yeah. they Take that and think, <laughs> damn, this guy really sucked one dick, man. And I, I don't even want to talk to this motherfucker. Like, they were done with it, dude. The conversation was over. It's over, dude. You they never... didn't want to talk to him anymore. That's bro, so you, funny. You, you and it had it, been bro. like 10 years since he sucked the cock. Yeah, dude. I said, okay, so <laughs> we were at like a homeless shelter with Danny, and there was these two black security guards, right? And I don't Suck What video me. is this? What video is this? I, Danny always remembers the titles better than I do. But I was dressed as, uh, I think it was... Giam no, I was dressed in the leopard coat, but I don't know if it was the Giamatti video. Anyway, might have been actually. Anyway, we're there. All right. We're we're at this like homeless shelter. They're the two security guards at the front. Mm -hmm. And they're talking to us and talking to us. Me and Danny are giving them a spiel about all this BS. And then all of a sudden, Danny's like, Well, you know, he sucked one dick in college. Just out of nowhere he says that about me. <laughs> yeah. So I yes and and I go, Yeah, well, man, just just it was just one time. And the guy goes, what you mean one time? <laughs> <laughs> I told you, bro. That's how black <laughs> people are. It's the I, funniest thing of all time. I tell you guys, bro. Like you, you suck one. What you mean shit. one time? What you mean one time? <laughs> what you mean? And I was like, I, I, I sucked uh, one. It was just one dick in college. And he go, and they both go, ah, oh, oh. man, and just walk away like, like fast, dude, fast to go inside the building. Like we ain't fucking with that like, shit, man. Oh, oh. And it sucks because there's a lot of gay black dudes, right? I mean, who yeah. cares? Yeah, Croc, like you're from Inglewood. If you got involved in sort of, as Nasty Noel would say, gangsta politics, yeah, and then your fellow gangster politicians find out that you sucked a dick one time in college, what is it on a site? They got to violate you. All right, so I'll tell you, they really? got to violate you, yes. So because... we're talking a, like object okay, up your ass? No, 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 not like that. They're going through some that might shit. be in jail or shit, but out on the streets, like, if you're heavily affiliated and you do some gay shit, it's like you're putting that on your homies type gotcha. shit. So, like, I used to be affiliated. Uh, no, so let's say, say affiliated, let's but. say you're heavily involved campaigning to be uh, the, the realist, Motherfucker. It's not actual <laughs> politics. Stop, 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 stop. You're out on the streets. You're, you're campaigning to be the realest motherfucker in Inglewood. Is that because that is that like a title that would be in gangster no, politics? No. How does it work? Door to door. No. Hey, you just, just <laughs> Austin, that's amazing. You're, so you're going door yeah, to door dude. going like, hey man, I just want to let everybody know in this house, motherfucker. I'm the realest motherfucker. In Inglewood, motherfucker. All right, and then and then they go, and they go. Everybody in the house goes, "Man, you ain't that. That ain't true, motherfucker." Hey, shut up, man. That's actually Greg down the street, motherfucker. He's realer than you, motherfucker. So you're campaigning, dude. <laughs> but sometimes there there are some violence happens. Some shit goes down. But but look at no wait. Stop. This was my question, King Croc. Let me get back to it. I'm a little tipsy. So you're you're campaigning. You're going door to door. Asking who the realest motherfucker is because you know you are. And some guy goes, hey, man, shut up, King Croc. You sucked that one dick, man. I remember, man. If that spreads, is your, is your campaign to be the realest motherfucker done? It's or can you done. overcome it? It's done. No, there's no overcoming. The only overcoming. No many, many guys you knock out. doesn't matter. 
Well, you can be a gay gangster, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of gay gangsters, That's a lot true. of booty warriors. Where really, like, they will really there is yeah. yes, bro. There's real nigga. When right. I say real niggas, they're not really real niggas, but they're willing to take it there. They're gotcha. willing to go the extra mile. So if <laughs> if you're not niggas are not going to die to disrespect a gay gangster, right? Like they're just not gonna fuck with him. Right. But if they're really gangster, they're still gangster. And if they have, what if all the gay boots? gangsters decide to team up together and, and form like a gay do. mafia? They do. And then they start tagging rainbows on the side <laughs> of buildings and shit. If you don't think that the mainstream media is not only working with Hollywood, but then working with the gay gangsters, you're an idiot. And the gay I think, cartel. I think it goes all the way down. There's a gay trail all the way down to the cartels austin Absolutely. but uh, on that note okay so so if you're a gay but once you're a gay gangster you do you think like if you need to sign a deal you know what i mean um to like close the deal you don't think they could just like have a business meeting with a gay gangster you know what i mean if you're a real gangster and you need to have a meeting with a gay gangster are you you think that the meeting is going to be like still go through how do you think that happens i think when it's for the bag a lot of niggas will do shit that goes against their principles for the bag. Gotcha. So it's really you know just I mean? something that you say at parties. You kind of go, hey, man, that I, I, ain't, I ain't fucking with Greg. He gay, man. But if you see him in real life, you're like, what up, Greg, man? Yeah, we doing a, we doing a, we doing West Side Alta Vista? Fuck yeah, man. Yeah, I got you. You know, I gave you a commish. Like, it's if, still cool if you see. And it's just something you say at parties. It's not supposed to be cool, but it's not supposed to be cool. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm not saying, I'm I'm just saying some people not some people really are not fuck in no kind of way. Like, I mean, look at Boosie. Right. I mean, he he puts his career on the line to talk shit against gay people. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't think it's worth it? It's because he's really about it. You don't think it's worth it? I don't yeah. Know. yeah. I, did saying. you ever know of like a like a gay motherfucker getting stomped out or something in the hood? That's messed up, dude. I hope of that course. didn't happen. What? Damn. No but way. He, but he comes back stronger from it, and that's how you give them a chip on their shoulder, and that's why they're taking over, dude. I guarantee you a gay gangster is doing such a better job at gangstering than a regular gangster, dude. It's just like in the real world. They have the cleanest, nicest places. They have. They work hard in the office. Cause you work hard, right? He's Leo? got a bedazzled Glock on his hip. <laughs> bedazzled Glock, dude. Because you know, people, <laughs> fuck, dude. Uh, all power. I'm all about gay gangsters, dude. If you're a gay, gay, gay gangster, let me know in the comments, dude. <laughs> I want to know if you're a gay gangster in the comments, dude. Because that would be sick to fucking talk to a gay gangster and give you mad respect, the respect that you deserve. Listen, the old world. I'm sorry to say, is dying. Mm. You know what I mean? Old school, traditional mentalities, roles, and ideologies, they're being crushed under the foot of liberalism and um, progressivism. Progressivism and uh, cultural degeneration and poisonation by the CCP and mm. others. Mm. But um, they don't want us to win, bro. I'll put it like that, Leo. Mm -hmm. you are you're getting more and more base as i've known you you become more and more base i don't think there's time. any i still but don't the think reality, there's an excuse for you to eat that shitty food you eat in the hood though all right you can get you can drive you 10 minutes go to whole food? foods yeah stop eating the fast food yeah you can go to whole foods but what's on every go, block bro fast food that's because there's stores that's because there's planned, a planned parenthood it's on every block in the hood yeah i know but kiddo you can go you can get out of there Come over to the Grove, buddy. It's not that far from you. Yeah, I guess. It's like systematic racism doesn't exist. Oh, yeah? Well, there's an abortion clinic and a McDonald's on every fucking corner of the hood. <laughs> it's bullshit, man. I, I think, but look, like, I remember this one poor kid who just was doing poor better than anyone, and he, he would eat for lunch. He would eat a bell pepper and, and a piece of bread. That's a poor motherfucker. Damn. That's a poor motherfucker. But, no hey, meat. that's a lot of nutrients. And he was doing fine. He was lean and mean and killing it. All right, but that is that a poor motherfucker. Well, bell pepper. It was a big bell pepper, and it, and Brad, I think it was like a dollar seventy five. You know dude, what I, mean? I watched this story about this homeless dude uh -huh. who he the way he lived was by sleeping with women. Yeah, I love that one. I've, I've watched that, that guy. Crazy. <laughs> I watched that guy. York. This is a quote. If I remember the quote, this is what he says. They go. He goes. Well, how long can you stay with the girls? He goes. Ah, depends how well I lay the pipe. Yeah. <laughs> It was so funny. I love that. It's it a YouTube matter. clip. Professional BBC warrior. He's <laughs> fucking hilarious, dude. Yeah, that's dude. a New York guy, right? That's a right? white guy, dude. Yeah, that's a New Yorker.
Yeah. Oh, he's a white guy. Yeah, he's kind of beige. He just sleeps outside on the fucking sidewalk. Yeah, I don't know. Dude, what if happened, you were like a big BBC one? warrior, homeless guy, like you could mandingo your way out of the streets. Hundred percent. It happens every day in Brazil. Thought it was for me. Happens every day in Brazil? Yeah, man. There's tons uh, of homeless fucking players in Brazil. Absolutely. So we're uh we're expecting an OnlyFans girl. Uh, well, I don't want to call her that. That's so she. We're expecting a hard worker, an ex Nets cheerleader on Ooh. the pod, which is that's hot. We got to talk about that for sure. Uh, she should be getting here any moment. So as as of now, before we get here, I want to come up with a little plan. Okay. okay. A little plan to have some fun. Okay. And sorry, I've been on my phone. I'm trying to confirm that she gets here because you know if I gave that duty to Dino. Uh, it, we would never have the the woman would be in New Mexico, uh. For somehow she would have taken a flight all the way to New Mexico. All right, so let's come up with a plan. So we know that she told me she might have might as you know she she might have indulged she she indulged in some fun with some of the basketball players. Okay. Okay. All she right. told me. Okay. Now I say that we say King Croc here is a f- current player. In the NBA D League. Okay. Oh, okay. That's the D League. Yeah. That's a little bit more D League. It's a little bit more believable. Okay. Yeah. Now yeah, we have to come yeah. up with a team. I don't know shit well, about the Dallas Mavericks or some shit. That's All right, a real NBA he team. plays for the Maverick. The, he's a, he's he about the, to be transferred to the Mavericks. All right, so he plays for the Mavericks D team. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Mavericks. He's uh he's out of summer ball right now because he. Has an STD. No, no. What's the uh, what's the reason that you're out of summer ball right now? He refused summer. to be vaccinated for COVID. Yeah, that's cool. And they go, <laughs> and, they go and, it, and it's cool because it's only one more month, and they're gonna allow us to come back. Okay, I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah. So that's the uh, and you're wearing your shoes. You're wearing your Kyrie Irvings. My KDs. Your KDs. No, wait. Those are Kevin Durant's. Oh shit. Or are they Kyrie Irving? I thought these were. I think, I think Durant, Durant is the Kyrie's. KDs. Yeah, these yeah are those Kyrie's. are Kyrie's though. Kyrie's. They're Kyrie's, right? Mm-hmm. How would you know that, Austin? Because they're not KDs. KDs don't look like that. How would you know what KDs look like? He's Dude, because guy. I was like, I went to this fucking white suburb school where you had to have your KDs and your Nike Elite socks to be cool with all these fucking stupid ass rich white boys. I always thought that shit was whack because I was a skateboarder and I was like, none of y'all fucking ball. Y'all are all a bunch of pussies. Like, I don't care what kind of socks you got. <laughs> fucking loser. Like, <laughs> But apparently you weren't cool unless you were rocking KDs and some Nike Elite socks. Uh-huh. All right. So the plan is, that's the plan. You, you can... Um, oh, uh, I need to write this down. Where's my phone? You can... What do you mean? What, why do you have to write it down? You have one minute. She's literally one minute away, you all right. jerk off. All right. So I'm... You're, who you're, am I? I'm, I what's your name, the... bro? Let's come up with your name, you fucking jerk Darshan. off. Darshan. Darshan. Yeah, I like it. First Darshan. name Dar, last name Sean? No. Darshan, first name Jenkins. <laughs> what about... Darshan Jenkins? Darshan Jenkins. Darshan That's Willis. actually hilarious. All right. Hey, hey uh, we're going to talk about his career, and we're going to tie it into her a little bit, but it's uh, Darshan Jenkins. You're, you're a fucking sharpshooter. You're, what are you? Yeah, should you be I'm a point guard? Because it doesn't make sense. You play post. No, should be. You should be a point guard, like a fat point guard. <laughs> a fat yeah, point, a point guard. guard. No, you're a point guard. No, <laughs> he's a point guard. He's a point guard. <laughs> he's a fat point guard. Hey, um, yo, and I'm tall enough to be a point guard. Literally, I'm like most point guards are like my height or a little bit shorter, a tiny bit shorter. All right, Dino, go outside and look for this chick. She's uh, she looks like a little a small white Italian looking chick, green eyes. She got uh um brown hair. You should find her. Right, I'll move over. Get a uh, get a little action. Get uh, talk to a woman for once in your life. You fucking incel. Um, have some fun with that. Yeah, you both. Uh, you're going with them. Dress like that, dude. Show this fucking jerk off, dude. Look at this jack motherfucker. Don't go. Where the fuck are you going, Giamatti? Are you moving? Yeah, you're moving. Right. I like that. Yeah, move over to the side. We'll still have you involved. You did. You've done amazing so far, Giamatti. You're killing it. I think you should be Latin X Giamatti. Or something like that, dude. Okay, Leo. <laughs> Latinx. We, so, so you literally use Latinx as a real term in real life? If you're trying to get pussy from some white liberal, me? are you talking to me? They like I'm that Latinx. You, oh, dude, I've never used that term in my life. I I, say, honestly, I, thought... I swear to God, I don't really know what it means. Austin, what is it? Okay, Latinx so mean? a bunch of like white college liberal chicks decided it would be a good idea to gender neutrify the Spanish language because Latina, Latino, no, 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 no. That promotes sexism or whatever. 
Latinx for all them non-binary Mexicans. You feel me? Okay. So that's what it is. Um, no, but uh, that, that so that's why Giamatti needs to be Latin X. I, th I think it's pronounced Latinx. <laughs> Latinx? Is Latinx. it pronounced Latinx? Yeah, I think that's what you call it. You would know because you're a real fucking Latin son of a bitch. You're a real fucking Chicano. Latinx. Are you Mexican? Mexican. And... Fucking, you're real Chicano. I love you, dude. Yeah, por supuesto. You're like a si sos, oh, como, sure. sos como mi compadre. No, people always freak out when I talk Spanish. Okay, 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 people okay, don't okay, talk. Okay, okay, paso, uh, what did you just say? About what? What did you say in Spanish? I said mi compadre. What does that mean? Uh, like my my friend. Uh -huh. like that. Yeah. Oh wow. Even I knew that. That was too yeah, hard. It's kind of easy. <laughs> I did do, throw some yeah. real ones like que verga, like que verga, that means like him. balls or something. I'll say a better one. Este uh, grandote le gusta chupar la verga. Y se la mete también. Sí. Si. My dad saved me, man. He, my mom was trying to put me in this like Spanish immersion program in school, mm. and my dad was like, "Fuck that shit, man." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. I try to hook up with Mexican girls, and they say I don't date white guys. I'm like, what really? the fuck? I'm more Mexican than your fucking grandmother. What the fuck? Are you doing? <laughs> you're you're a real Mexican dog. Like you like like George Lopez. Like you would go and like really enjoy one of his specials. And I do too, man. You should They're get a fine. low rider. Yeah, you actually low should rider. get a low rider, bro. You got to really lean into that. You're Latin ex Giamatti. Hello, oh, Jen. He's here. Hello. So, yeah, we kind of just go like at your your. This is yeah, your feet live. on the couch. Right over here. Yeah. Thank you so much for do you, coming do in. Do you like White Claws? I we, do. We have one for you. Yeah, one right oh, here. Oh, great. <laughs> There's a headset over there. If you want to put it on here, it's better. Yeah, yeah, you could hear us better with that. Awesome. But here's that. Thank you. Put this on. Yeah. So, Jen, thank you for coming on. This is the Leo and Danny show. Actually, my uh, co-host, Danny, he's actually out of town. He takes a little sabbatical once a year. Oh, but shit. yeah. So I have my co-host today. Here is uh, King... King Croc King also Croc. goes by Darshawn Jenkins. This is Darshawn Darshan Jenkins. Jenkins. Uh, now, hey, Jen. <laughs> Jen. <laughs> nice Jen. Jen, nice Thanks to meet you. Thanks for having me. Here. Of course, Jen. Thank you so much. Uh, wow. The guy to your uh, right there. The only reason he's on the podcast is because he got shot in the hand. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. I see that. It's so so we up. thought that was interesting, and we wanted to bring him on. And we uh, we've given him a name. It's it's Latin X Paul Giamatti. Okay. What do you think? Do you think he looks like Paul Giamatti? I don't even know who that is. Sideways. It's he's a, he's an actor, <laughs> billions. He's in a couple of things. Maybe if I've seen his face, I'll be like, oh, I know who that is. I think but you've I seen can't. it. We, we also is said this... he looked we also said he looked like a retarded Jerry Seinfeld, which was mean. <laughs> but this is Paul Giamatti. You you know this guy, right? You know this guy. Okay, yes, I know this yes. guy. Yeah. yeah. So we figured he kind of looks like a Latino Paul Giamatti. Yeah, okay. I see that a little bit. Yeah. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I see it. Is this a recent thing? When did this happen? You're... Yeah, it is recent. How long ago did you get shot in the fucking hand? It was uh, May twenty eighth. <laughs> May twenty eighth. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so we thought it would be like, uh, like maybe it's, it's almost like a Make a Wish type thing. He's sitting next to a beautiful girl like you, <laughs> and we figured he'd be the right guy because he deserves it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like God dealt him kind of a bad little hand there. I'm, I'm a little literally bit on the hand. Too, so. You know. What I mean? yeah. <laughs> Are you? Were you diagnosed? Uh, a little bit. Okay. Okay. Well, Jen, I, I'm sure Jen, you've dealt with autism yeah. before, and it's not a big I deal. I have. It's not a big deal at all. Fair well, right. you have. Yeah, I've dealt awesome. with it. Yeah. Yeah. It's no big deal at all. Yeah. Jen, it's, it's good Jen hear. needs no introduction, but she is a former Nets cheerleader. Yeah, I'm a, a former Nets applause. dancer. It's awesome. Let's give a round of applause for that. Somebody, wow. somebody did, somebody did something awesome. All right, none of us in here have really done anything. So, so for me. give it up. That means she was an athlete at at your. Uh, would you say you could do a standing backflip? I can, yeah. Wow, that's a lot of athleticism. That, yeah. That's Dude, that's, that's really hardcore <laughs> strength and speed. Yeah, so I can still probably do like back handsprings and back walkovers. I don't know about a back tuck. That's the one where you don't touch the, you know. Right, right, right. But um, but yeah, it was a cool experience dancing mm -hmm. for the Nets. It was. What was the? What would you say um, was one of maybe like the highlights of working for the Nets? So for me, I was one of like the six girls that was on the dunk team. So we would run down the court, jump on a trampoline, slam dunk balls. And mm -hmm. my 
one was that I landed in a split. That was like my dunk, my signature. Wow. Yeah. Um, That's pretty. So the the. That's pretty. <laughs> would you like to see that? I bet Jen, you would like. Yeah, that. we should pull it Let's up. Let's pull it up. Let's yeah. pull it up. Uh, how do we find Instagram. it? Jen Rufo. Jen Rufo on Instagram. Wait, so All right, you're perfect. telling me Jen Rufo you would, Instagram. You would dunk the ball. Yeah. And then land in a split. Yeah, they would put a mat underneath the basketball hoop, but yes, I would land in it. But uh, to your question, yeah. the six of us got to travel to like different countries during the summer because they would hire us as the entertainment to like promote the NBA in different countries. So wow. that was definitely a highlight. I got to go to like China, Singapore, Brazil, mm -hmm. Turkey, Spain, That's Italy, amazing. like all these different places. Okay. And now we're on your Instagram okay, and, and yeah. uh, so needless gonna have to, to say. scroll Great down pictures. a bunch. You're going to have to scroll down a bunch until you see like me in a little Nets outfit or me like in the midair, kind of like Air uh -huh. Jordan, like okay. dunking a ball. Michael Jordan? Yeah. And we're taking a look at uh, some wonderful pictures here, Jen. <laughs> thank you, thank yeah. you. Um, but Let me yeah, log in real it was quick. definitely a cool experience. Do you have a, because your pictures are so lovely, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have a professional photographer or do you? Sometimes. Your boyfriend? Some, <laughs> no, sometimes I collaborate with photographers. Sometimes I just prop up my, uh, little ring light and do it myself okay I've gotten really good at editing over the years but uh oh, but yeah you know Depends what do you shoot on. with? Are we doing camera just, or just iPhone? iPhone? Yeah, yeah, that's what everybody says now. I mean, I guess you get the best quality, or it's 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 pretty much the same quality as a camera. Your, sure. your iPhone. Yeah, it is. Huh. It's like the high, the newer ones. Now, anyway. when you when you're a, a Nets uh, uh, dancer, are yeah. you allowed to date the players? So you're not. Um, mm. It's actually in our contract that it says like fraternization or however they word it with the players is frowned upon mm -hmm. so they don't technically say it's not allowed they say frowned upon and wow. i don't think that the players have the same rule in their contract they can kind of do whatever they want so sure. during the time i was dancing for them i just did it anyway and oh my they God. don't <laughs> they don't like us to do it because they think it takes away from our talent from our whatever and i don't agree with that I think that I can be talented and sexual, and I don't think it takes away from my credibility or my anything. I love that. So if you I wanted, kind yeah, of if you wanted to have anyway. your way, yeah. If you wanted to have your way with one of the players, you you can. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, There's it's like I have the right to have this bullshit. experience, and I can still dance and be talented. And you know, I think they think sometimes the dancers want to do it just to like be with the play. That was not the case. Sure, I was there for like four years, mm -hmm. and over the course of that, I did hook up with a couple of players just because you know you're in the same vicinity all the time. Like we're sure. doing the same things. Like, you know, if there's a spark, like why not act on it? We're sexual beings. Trust me, like... both of us, both both me and and Darshan Jenkins here, who by the way is a basketball player. Are I wanted you? to say that to you. I mean, <laughs> you're wearing your Lakers jersey. He was wearing his Lakers jersey. I'm, I'm, Lakers. I'm, I'm actually on, in the D League right now, but cool. yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be going to Maverick soon. So mm -hmm. awesome. I'm thanking God for my opportunities. Yeah. And he's everything. nursing. He's nursing like a a, a reoccurring foot fracture. Mm -hmm. But it's getting better, right? Yeah, I haven't been able to play. But yeah, it's it's a lot better. The doctors have been uh -huh. fucking A1. It's kind yeah. of one of those things. It's Appreciate like a stress you fracture. Yeah, that's you know, the worst. It's... When you're an athlete and you have an injury, it's yeah. like the worst. I think they found yeah. uh, the dunk here. Oh, oh hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah let's see We're it. pumped. We're pumped. <laughs> let's see it. So this was in China, actually. That's... Wow. In China, Deshaun DeRozan or someone. Oh, DeRozan. DeRozan. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah that's um, a hundred, so here it is. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Oh, <laughs> yeah. God damn! Yeah, stop. They, uh, <laughs> I, I hope they were paying you a lot of money for that. That is a gnarly stunt. Honestly, I look at it now and I'm like, you did travel though. You yeah, traveling. I could still like do it probably, <laughs> but it like hurts a little to look at now. I used to like yeah. not even. I, that like was flinch when I used to look at it, you know. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> I'm so high in the air. Yeah, yeah, I got some air. You're not flexible. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I love yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys are uh, are connecting over here. I <laughs> yeah, I know. You know what? It, this is amazing. <laughs> John here loves China too. It's his favorite country. Jen, what is your about it all the time? Jen, what is your type? There, would you say if you had to say what your type is? You know what's so interesting? Mm -hmm. I used to just say tall because sure. that was normally my type like six foot or over mm -hmm. ethnically like didn't have a type or what anything the guy's five eleven and a half you know maybe okay. i just really am drawn to like tall but sure. as of uh the past couple of years um 
I say my type is Jason Momoa because I oh. think he's so hot. You actually have Jason Momoa vibes. He has a very Thank similar you. type you too. Yeah, yeah. You I do. have a similar type. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like Jason yeah. Momoa too. <laughs> no, uh, uh, thank you. I appreciate yeah, yeah. that. I appreciate that. So that's your type now. So it's, yeah. it's fluctuates. It's, it goes yeah, but at, like that vibe is like my type. Like I think gotcha. he's so hot. Yeah. Well, he's single. Guy. Have you just? Is he? His yeah, he just oh, recently. Shit. So fuck. Slide in. I you will. Know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, why not? Um, I could play wow. him. I could play him. I could play a good Jason Momoa sometime though. Yeah. 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 So w if you're allowed to talk about it, I mean, did you ever? I mean, do you want to tell us about your some of your experiences with these NBA players? Your escapades, maybe? Yeah, I mean, so at the time, I was not as sexually experienced as mm -hmm. I am now. Like, the past couple years, I've done a lot of sexual exploration. Um, actually, my ex's kink was that I cheated on him. So wow. he, what? like, the first day we met, we hit it off right away at his birthday party. This was, like, during COVID, and... He told me right off the bat, like, I like when my girl, like, you know, is open and cheats on me. So kind of for the first six months of our relationship, it was just me being open. Wow. And he was kind of monogamous from what I understand. Gotcha. I mean, turns out he's a textbook narcissist. So who the fuck knows what he actually did. But <laughs> sounds like he's a textbook cuck. He is like he didn't want to yeah. sit there and be embarrassed, like tied sure. up watching. But he wanted me to send him videos or tell me the story about what happened or really? whatever. He wanted to know details. And yeah. But like now wow. I actually have the same kink, but I think it comes from two different places. Like I sit there and I actually genuinely enjoy my seeing my partner get pleasure because like oh, okay. you do get a little jealous but it's like hot and then it makes like your guys's connection even better and deeper mm, but i think awesome. i think his came from a place of he he was really hurt once when he was younger from a girl like she was a little older than him and i think she was like he thought she was cheating or whatever and so he used to get really mad but then he turned it into a king so now mm. he gives you the power like i'm not gonna let you hurt me i'm gonna give you the control and let you be open so that you can't hurt me i his mm. comes from a little bit like I think he has to unpack that a little bit, but from at least like I've done the work, I go to therapy, I do all the things like I actually genuinely enjoy watching my partner with another person. I think it's so hot. Um, and over the course of the past few years, I've done a lot of like I throw some sex parties sometimes. I know a lot of people in like the lifestyle they call it, which yeah. is just like open and swingers and all right. that kind of stuff. Yeah. And a lot of the swinger couples that I know actually have some of the strongest emotional connections that I've ever seen. Like, mm -hmm. it's just like, you can take it, like say we're all out to dinner and like you see some hot people across the table from you. Whether you tell your partner you think they're hot and you wanna fuck them, it's gonna go through your mind whether you tell your partner or not, right? Like True. we're animals, we're pe like whatever, we're sexual beings. So like mm -hmm. the fact that You're you can right. be open about this to your partner and say like, I wanna fuck that person mm -hmm. and then be like, okay, cool, thanks for letting me know or like, let's do it together like whatever i think that strengthens your connection and there's your... definitely some truth to that we have a buddy named For danny sure. yeah and he's in an open <laughs> relationship and the strongest bond i've ever seen out yeah. of a couple yeah uh you know it is uh well do you ever get jealous though where it could maybe make you lose some sleep though like what if uh that's only if the communication is bad and so okay. this is where my last relationship didn't quite uh, meet my needs in terms of like the communication mm. so if you have to figure out what the state like what your every couple has their own way of doing things right so for me I liked to know a little bit beforehand if possible like he was on a trip in Mexico and there was this girl in the house that he was get, wanted to sleep with and he said hey I think I'm gonna have sex with one of the girls in the house like cool thanks for letting me know like have fun like I prefer that, but if you're in the heat of the moment and shit just happens, because it happens sometimes, just as soon as you can let me know after, just let me know. That's mm -hmm. all I ask for. And I think that he, even having this, like, do whatever you want, just let me know thing that was, like, kind of what I wanted, my rule, like, he still, I think, kept things from me, mm -hmm. which oh, is really? just really unfortunate because, like, he's really going to kick himself one day because, like only someone who's really sick and suffering on the inside and like you know like you kind of have it made dude like mm -hmm. you know i know you got a hot chick as a girlfriend she wants you to be open and, and how often did you, how often did you want to sleep with other dudes though 
honestly, I really l- enjoyed in the beginning. Um, I'm actually have a pretty high sex drive for a girl. Yeah. Um, I think maybe my testosterone is just like I don't even really work out that you're much. Jacked. Yeah, yeah you're kind of jacked. You don't even. Work I really. Out. I mean, I do. I used to be a trainer, but it's like once every two weeks now. It's not like regular. Mm. Sure. <laughs> um, but there, there's something to like doing a lot of hard, like very intense exercise when you're young. Though. Yeah, my body's it, it just kind up, of. Yeah, it ends up like just hormone. immatures. Yeah. Uh, much uh, better. If I have you don't, a lot of muscle, it, so yeah, it's like. Muscle. It's yeah. harder for me to gain fat. I don't know. Yeah. But um. But yeah. So I really okay, but... enjoyed. Sorry, mm-hmm. just to answer your question yeah, quickly. Sure. In the beginning, like, um, the fact that I knew he was getting a little jealous and getting off to like these videos of me with other guys. Like, mm-hmm. I liked that. That was our like weird little kink, and I it actually made me be more sexual because I was like, I like when like your partner is connected into your sexual endeavors. Like, so he sent me videos a couple times like towards the end of our relationship Mm -hmm. um and i really liked that because i was now involved in his endeavors like even though they were his or whatever so so what did it was it the fact that he just didn't tell you when he was cheating or well i don't know if you've ever dealt with a dex textbook narcissist but Mm, they probably one myself you might be (laughs) you might be i mean we all have can have like narcissistic tendencies but Mm -hmm. there's a difference between having tendencies and being an actual narcissist like they will gaslight you like Mm -hmm. they don't like to talk about feelings they get very avoidant they um you know if you're like this makes me feel this Mm -hmm. then they'll be like well you shouldn't feel that way because like well, is it possible because I'm a guy, right? And a lot of guys, they don't like talking about their feelings. They feel vulnerable. When yeah, they but talk that's about not them. like the other guys on your, your team. Your you talk to them about that. Yeah, like yeah. they don't want to tell their girls. Well, that's oh, like your or... job to do the work to figure out to get yourself to a place where you're emotionally intelligent enough to have these com- adult conversations. Mm-hmm. We're in an adult relationship. Yeah. Like it's your responsibility. I don't care if you have, or you're a girl, a guy, a they, yeah. whatever the fuck you want to call yourself. Like yeah. you need to do the work to get yourself to a place where you're respectful of your partner, where you can have adult conversations that deepen your connection. And like, it's not my fucking problem if you don't feel comfortable talking. Go to fucking therapy and figure it out. Jenkins, like, Jenkins, how many guys on the team, you know, are are doing mental health stuff? How many guys are getting after it, like between the, the fucking ears? You know what I mean? Because this is how you get to the next level. If you're going to make it to the NBA, yeah. It's here because you're the biggest point guard in the league, right? What yeah, does that man. do to you? What does that do to your your mental health? I'm not going to lie. I do work on it. Mm-hmm. I do meditation. Mm-hmm. I have my loved ones that I call up. I talk to every single day. Gotcha. And so I, I like put a, the time in, but I'm not going to lie. Combo. There's a pressure. There's pressure. There's so like, pressure. I heard the combo between you and your mom, and your mom was like, you sure you can, you can handle the point guard position with all that weight? And she goes, why don't you lose some weight? What did you What do you say about that? Listen, it's just because of my injury. Right. You know what I mean? Of course, when you have a major injury like I had, you're going to gain some weight. You're going to gain some weight. Right. But I know at the end of the day, I have the skill right. to make it in the league. That's right, baby. And I'm fucking determined of to course. get there. And I have mentors and people around me I who see that. it in me. <laughs> What's say one mean? of I your wings that. on the team, you know, that you're tossing the ball off to? Like, he. <laughs> Him and his girlfriend decide to be in an open relationship. What kind of like, advice would that you complicate him? things? Like with you, you and the team, or like, you, what if he wants to fuck you? What if he wants to fuck you? What if Jenkins? My, my what if? Girl, what if? What, give me what? What's, what? What? What are your homies on the team's name? Uh, fucking Landon. 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 All right, Landon. Yeah. White guy, right? Landon's yeah, white, white. All right. White well, guy. he's mixed actually. But, he's mixed. What? Okay, he looks so, white. He looks white. All right, Landon, the three point artist. What if he's like, hey, listen, I've Should been, you know, I've been, I've been seeing Ma- Mary for a while, and uh, and you go, yeah, yeah, Mary, she's great, and he goes, well, you know, we're kind of in a, this open thing, and she really wants to fucking bang the shit out of you. What do you do when when given an offer like that? I'm not gonna lie, I'd love to meet her. Mm-hmm. Wait, you would, you would, you would meet her. I'd meet her, and I'd like, if she looked like Jen Rufo. Hold up, are you in a relationship right now? Is that? Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm in a relationship. Okay, cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. so but it's cool. So you would meet her before you talk to your partner? No, no, no. I would talk to my partner and tell them I'm going to meet her. All right, dude. Let me. Let's do the role play, uh, Jen. I want you to play Darshan's girlfriend. Okay. You're going to do. Uh, you, let's give, let's practice communication. Cynthia. Yeah. Let's... Cynthia. Okay. okay. So you're going to play Cynthia. Cynthia. You're going to okay, meet Cynthia. Let's role play. 
and you're gonna you're gonna call her up and and tell her <laughs> tell her that you met a little number on the team. It, it's Landon's girlfriend, oh, and God. she wants to have a little fun. Question: I need a little. So, does she have you ever had any conversations about open relationships with her before? Yes. Yeah. And what does she have. said? She, she likes women too. Okay. Okay. And, so, and what are her okay's and not okay's like? Um, I definitely can't cheat on her. Okay. Um, but I got to tell her. But it's kind of like, kind of like you said. Like if I don't, <laughs> like if it happens, but I tell her right after, she's not gonna be that mad about it. Do you, you have to tell mean? her though? I got to tell her for sure. Okay. So, so this so is what we're. So, so this, it's but, just open on your end, not hers, because if the yeah, role, not hers. Okay. So let's role, role play. Let's, let's role play. Let's role play. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> hey, Cynthia. Hey, what's up, babe? How you doing, babe? Um, so there's this girl at my job, and she really loves me. You, you remember Landon? Mm -hmm. He came to a dinner party one time. Um, yeah, his girl wants to have some fun. Like, I just want to let you know. Like sexual fun? Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. Are you letting me know or are you asking me how I feel about it? I'm asking you how you feel about it, babe. Okay. Because obviously I care about you and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I, I want to let you know, like, this yeah. is what was happening in my life. Right cool. Now. No, so I'm actually fine with that. Thanks for letting me know. Um, I just want you to know that I believe in, like, I don't believe in double standards. So, if you want those freedoms, I want the same freedoms. Babe, oh, hey, babe, that's not what we talked about, babe. <laughs> babe, let's keep this going. Have you been sleeping with any other guys? Yeah, a lot, <laughs> actually. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, don't tell him. Don't All right, so him. look. Okay, I, so obviously, Cynthia and you have a different understanding. Yeah. I'm obviously talking from my beliefs and my needs because. I don't believe in monogamy for me personally. Like I believe. When did you realize that point? So when did you? Every relationship yeah. that I've had always felt off, and I didn't know what was off about it. I even went to the extent that I was like, maybe I should explore girls because I just something was missing, and I wasn't sure what it was. Turns out, I'm not. I'm actually very hetero. Like I yeah. rather have four dicks in my face than touch a vagina. Like I am. <laughs> did like, you try it? Have you had? I've four never glasses. tried it, and All I have right. no One, interest two, in. It. I no, think women. It's, it's fun. Though. I think it's, it is fun. Okay. A vagina for you. I think women are beautiful. Yeah, for us, dude. I think yeah. women are beautiful. I uh -huh. love them. I think I'll even kiss and touch boobs just because I. I can do that in the heat of the moment if everyone's enjoying it, it like the yeah. pleasure wise. Sure. I will not touch a vagina. They can touch mine. Boobs are kind of cool too. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Just, you're kind of like, you're like the alpha chick kind of. I can sense that. I'm like, not. I want to, I do not. Alpha. I want to be as submissive as possible in the bedroom. Wow. I'll slap you around a little bit sometimes though. Like, <laughs> but for the most part, I like to be submissive. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, see, now, see. How, what is your love life like though right now? Do you have a boyfriend? So or no, you... so I'm about four or five, I don't know, six months out of a relationship. Um, mm -hmm. and I have an OnlyFans most, and all my content is from real life. Um, mm -hmm. I have shot scenes with a couple porn stars cause Kieran Lee actually runs my uh, OnlyFans, mm -hmm. his team. So, yeah. um, I think he DM'd me and I was like, yeah, but I, like, I'm honest. I was like, so I did a scene because I wanted to collab with a porn star. Like I'm right. very just open about, but most of my You're stuff is from, Kieran Lee. yeah, I think he's hot. And gotcha. I did a scene with Manuel too, who's super hot. Oh wow! So do you meet guys that are just like down to do stuff on camera that never so, done it before so that's they just the are thing. like whatever like, i don't yeah. really like doing that and i don't like i rather have like one only fan stick for the most part and sure. then like have that kind of situation that i had with my ex where it's like babe i'm gonna like kind of making him jealous doing stuff with other guys or whatever mm -hmm. like people in the lifestyle but um yeah it's been weird because i'm kind of still healing from i'm actually the most healed i've ever been but um you know i was healing from my ex for a while so i didn't really want to like and and some guys take advantage that they're like, oh, I want my dick to be in an OnlyFans, like whatever. So like, I'm very like selective. I'm very. It doesn't have to be absolutely. their face, then. It's only the penis. Well, I mean, it's some. Yeah, Sometimes. most guys don't really want their face in it. Right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a few guys as a part of our sort of group who do OnlyFans, mm -hmm. and they do a lot of sort of on camera sex work. One used to be an ex homeless guy, and oh, yeah. it changed his life. It did I mean, change the his only life. Thing That's thing, really uh, cool. He found, he found a young girl, and yeah, they're having. Good for sex. Yeah. that's awesome yeah it's great but honestly i think like the whole breakup is why i kind of started talking to porn stars because like i like 
regular dudes like you know they'll show it to their friends or like they're whatever like right i hooked up with this only fans girl whatever like i just didn't want any of that and i knew i wasn't like ready to like um, start emotionally exploring anything yet so i was like if I'm gonna do this, like let's fucking go. Let's yeah, like fuck some porn level. dick. Like I yeah. fucked a million dollar dick. I think that's what Kieran says his dick is. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. you know if they do porn, they're packing. Yeah. 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 And it's surprises. like good sex too. Right. Like they yeah. know it's what they're fucking good. doing. Yeah, <laughs> Obviously. I so, so Jen, what do you say to the people that say that you're crazy for doing something like this or that you have daddy issues or people that who judge Oh, you, I'm very judge. aware of my that? mommy and daddy issues. Yes, right. I do have those, but I I've, oh, I've, wow. I've been doing self-work on myself since I was 17. Like, I've been going to therapy and reading books and journaling and, like, meditating and doing all this stuff. And it's, like, a journey for me. And it, I, it's not for me. I started my podcast, which I, I knew I was going to talk about sex. But this was two mm -hmm. and a half years ago before I did anything in this lifestyle sexually. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I just was really passionate about, it, about like, normalizing sex and normalizing taboo topics non-tradition because i just didn't relate to any of those traditional things right. so for me <laughs> it's just kind of been a sexual exploration of like my liberation like i've never felt more liberated sexually mm -hmm. like Absolutely. the people that you meet in the lifestyle are some of the coolest most grounded down-to-earth people and right. you feel connected to them so fast it's always like, the ones you least expect are, to is right? your um let me ask <laughs> are you in the fucking world dude are you a fucking <laughs> sexual <laughs> like, deviant <laughs> only three only three only fans all right no wait i go See, ahead Kick Rock, those go people. Ahead. i want to ask uh -huh. Jen, yeah are you located in los angeles you are you is this your home why, base? why are yeah. you could why are you asking no this? I'm, no i'm darshan I'm, I'm, well, darshan just got into the industry Listen, just darshan, filmed darshan, his, i'm a crazy uh, italian from jersey like uh, i'm direct yeah. as fuck i lived in new york for five years like uh, that's uh, let's not <laughs> yeah. just say it how it is say like, it how it is what bro, are you ask asking her, <laughs> ask her ask her croc are you are you are you willing to maybe meet up with her for some coffee listen i would be a hundred percent down if yeah, if she's a part of the lifestyle, uh -huh. you can meet Cynthia. You guys will probably get along. It'll be awesome. Or um, not. If, if or you can just LA. tell Cynthia that you need that hall pass, boy. Right? <laughs> do what you say, hey, do. Cynthia. Honestly, dude, she's, she's so much hotter than Cynthia. Dude. I'm I don't not into say, girls, though. You yeah, know that. I just told she's you. She's way hotter than Cynthia. Dude. I don't want to be a dick. <laughs> Cynthia doesn't watch the podcast. No, not gonna, she'll sure never Cynthia's hear this. Fine. She'll, no, she Cynthia's is a dark sexy, human being. Baby. Jen, Jen, but Cynthia like, is shouldn't mean. Shouldn't you ask if Cynthia's I'm even interested your life. in you? Yeah, okay, like, thank you. Thank shouldn't you. you even ask if Let's I'm like attracted to you? Let me first? ask you, all right? Have you ever been with any African-American people? Yeah, I just told you I fucked NBA players. Yeah, who do you think they were? <laughs> you think they were white guys? <laughs> They're not like It wasn't the woman white guy in the league dude Come he, on. Does, he plays yeah. in texas so there are a number of white guys but a yeah. lot of white guys Would you say that? okay so, so recently it's been jason momoa vibes oh, yeah, but, for sure. but one for sure. but back in the day would you say like a big black man was your type i definitely i you know i hate the fact that i'm saying phase but i definitely had a phase because I was surrounded by a lot more black people when I was dancing for the Nets. Gotcha. You know what so, I mean? So yeah, it's like, I mean, yeah. and yeah. that's kind of a lie. I went to Rutgers, which was very diverse. And uh -huh. like, you know, I've always kind of surrounded myself with a diverse group of people. And I'm proud of that. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, dan dancing for the NBA, I definitely had like, it was two NBA players, two NFL players, this host guy. So that's five right there, yeah. black guys. Then aside from that, like my, uh -huh. in college, one of my exes was part black um okay. i definitely like like i said i that's don't true. have so a type most white that's guys sick. most guys like uh, awesome. uh like latinx giamatti on on your right there i'm part be, black yeah well they they'd be wondering is it a size queen thing do you uh, does size matter or do you just like a big alpha black man oh man okay so you can be honest. Yeah, no, for me, for size sure. definitely matters. Now, yeah. what, what is a good size penis for you? Um, so my ex was not black. He was white, and he had a pretty big dick. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess for a white guy, I don't, I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. and what do you mean by that? Yeah, I don't know. I don't even. <laughs> I'm trying to think of how to explain how big it. Like compare. Like I don't know. I just Look, think ten inches. 
right? Ten inches. That's I what don't, I got. Honestly, I'm more like fuck. a visual learner. Like you gotta see it. <laughs> yeah, I am a visual. Gotcha, gotcha. Yes. I can, well, King Croc, you want to go in the bathroom? But and, so I think just like sure. I don't know. Let me get back to you with that. But yeah. to yeah. answer your question before <laughs> about like, what do I say to the like haters and people who say I have issues? Like, right. look, we all have issues, and we're all we all have values and needs and wants. And as long as we're living in accordance to our values and needs and wants are like if you're not hurting anyone like who cares and and the people who are hating right away mm -hmm. i usually when people get defensive or like hate on someone it's because they have some sort of insecurity yeah. or uncomfortability with the topic at hand so right. for those people i say like you know a lot of times like the societal norms and religion like they trap us into these like very vanilla relationships that are just like not satisfying our needs well, absolutely I think, the, I think the pope is doing a lot for the catholics though because he did say uh, that he, fuck he him, said man. he said that he goes you could be gay and still get into heaven that's pretty big all right well that's true yeah that's well, cool. listen the point is like religion has always been an institute of oppression Sure. against sexual liberation only because of the way it's people always take been a it, way though. to judge people mm -hmm. and to to kind of hold people back and put a standard on them well i you know think I mean? that it stems actually from men controlling women see oh, yeah. darshan's been yeah. dealing with a lot of that darshan lately. would you say that you have you would okay first of all we all know here in this room that his girl cynthia is kind of like she's like a team cancer you know what i mean she takes the fun out of everything she's Yo, not that she bad she's oh, pretty she bad yeah, you're hating on I'm her i'm sorry <laughs> that i'm hating on her I just, I'm like, she had this we, 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 we have a jealous. team picnic we have hey, a team at least picnic. you're honest and keeping I mean, it real thank you jen we <laughs> jen we have a team picnic all right and it's usually like once every couple months we go out uh, usually to maybe like a, the nice like pan pacific park we have a nice picnic for for the crew and everybody involved with the leo and danny show and you know she just had this fit she has been starting picnic. a lot of problems thank yeah, you dude true. thank well, you austin if i'm being honest based on darshan right mm -hmm. yeah, based no, sure. on your comments from today about like not wanting to talk about feelings and this and that like maybe she has a right to be like, thank you triggered well, <laughs> like, i always like, said it's your, it's your fault first honestly, you know what i mean like, it's your fault first buddy i mean look i'm just talking from my experience but i know when i feel safe and heard in a relationship like i don't freak out no i get triggered when my needs aren't being met and like we're not having these like conversations i'm not feeling safe and you're going and doing things and not telling me like I'm. I want to be your priority. I want to feel special. I want to be like Dude, your. Cynthia is my queen. Yeah. At the end of the day, and and the reality is, a lot of the times, it's Danny Mullen. Mm -hmm. He's the host. Of he's the, the host. He, you he's think his he's put, partner. Is he putting a he, wrench in your relationship? Dude, whenever we go out in public, he always has to say the most extreme things, and he I'm does, like, bro. But that's how you, you get don't out have there. To say that you're trying look, to Jen, be funny. Look, you don't have to do that. Jen dude. understands uh, the, you know the I mean? showmanship type. Jen like, seems a you have edgy, to be. A you have to be might. outlandish. You have to make some brash decisions if you want to make it in this game, right, Jen? I mean. So how can you blame the guy? But I mean, I would need to know what he said, but like, what, how you do know. you feel about the N word? Insensitive. Oh my god! Is no, that even a no, he didn't. He didn't say the N word. Well, he it not recently, but it's not like that. He never past. said it in a racist sense. And that's he made it hard to do my somebody. job, Leo. I'm not like quoting somebody. Leo, Leo. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. The use of the N word uh -huh. by Danny Mullen has made it hard to do my job. <laughs> well, man. stop his job. I'm listen, just, I'm just doing Jen, my job. He here. was recently. He you is know recently. Like, he is recently. That's valid. He's recently had. Uh, you know, he's been. He has a, a podcast going on No Jumper right now, where Danny, this guy that did say the N word, uh, he was repeating a quote, and he was on that show and he was accosted and they and they got to the bottom of it and now it's been squashed and it's fine okay imagine so, but, how embarrassed wait, you're on I no was. jumper or someone else yeah, yeah he was, was yeah. i'm yeah. going on there later yeah hell yeah, yeah. yeah. i was on there too i was on there too <laughs> high five hell yeah, yeah. have fun it's it's a really uh, it'll it's be it'll, yeah. it'll be slightly more professional than this honestly uh, no but okay so listen. but these kids kill it for us there right, was a girl in the bachelor nation mm -hmm. hannah who was singing yes. a song and said it that you remember like there was all uproar about Say the it. er she just she, it was i know she a, was saying yeah. that said people have the right to feel how they feel sure absolutely. you know what i mean like if it offended you and bothered you that she said it you have the right to feel that way 
if you feel like she should be allowed to say i mean yeah you have the right to feel that way but i also think you need to take into consideration like the people who it's affecting Mm -hmm. and like try like be curious about it be like i think there's this is just an opportunity anything can be an opportunity to learn right and to like Absolutely. gain yeah. more understand let's it's Absolutely. not about being right or wrong yeah, it's just about understanding even, each even other at the end of the day like even if i've known danny and leo for a long time they're yeah. good friends of mine yeah you know and i i love and respect them but at the end of the day i got a family to go back to i got a girl to go back to how am i gonna look if i'm Cynthia co-signing sucks. this dude sorry. Mm. leo come on I'm sorry, dude. If I'm co-signing this dude your girl, dog. Word, not you know even I mean? that. Like, <laughs> it's not even about how you look to, like, other people. It's about how you feel about it. Yeah, you, you know, know what I feel, mean? You like, know he's not racist. You know he's not racist. I, I know, but... Still, if it bothered you, you have the right to It's all about learning. There's a Absolutely. time and there's a place. I mean, like... Time and a place. There's Kazumi. She's right. Japanese, but she's fucking a black guy. She gets the inward pass. But, but like, if she was fucking she? a white guy... Maybe she I just, wouldn't. I just, I think it's a learning me. experience. I, love Look, I just hate together. like it was awesome. I don't uh-huh. like cancel culture because I Thank feel you. like I feel like look maybe today you're 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 irritated and it's gonna bother you more today than it would a, a different day i don't know or maybe it always bothers you regardless like we need to just have these awkward conversations and comfortable conversations and we all have to be willing to like adjust a little bit and like learn from it and that's and, right and go forward Jen, i just don't I think tell you... if the person continues to do it then yeah let's fucking cancel them because right. we had a conversation they're continuing to do it they're not caring okay now you're canceled yeah. you know what that's, i mean so, that's so this guy, this yeah. guy <laughs> like... i'm gonna tell you what this guy danny did in order to kind of make up for the fact that he did have a past where he might have said the n-word a couple times under certain circumstances he he no, facilitated sorry. a hand job from Kazumi for her OnlyFans, correct? Okay. Yeah, Darshan actually just filmed his first scene with yeah, a very yeah. famous Kazumi. OnlyFans girl named Kazumi. Kazumi. I know Kazumi. Yeah, yeah it's she's amazing. Awesome. She's such a great girl. Yeah, she really cool. is. She's she cool. took my virginity in the uh, OnlyFans. Your OnlyFans. She's she ushering him your OnlyFans into shirt. the OnlyFans <laughs> lifestyle. And the yeah. people on the team yeah. have been giving Darshan a hard time. Yeah, and man. it's like, bro, it's 2022. Right. If you want to shake a little cock and be in the NBA, is, you oh, can. It's take okay. You. Tell us, yeah, I mean, how look at Tyga. That? Like, he's look doing his thing yeah, on dude. OnlyFans. Wait, Kid Croc, tell us about the, oh, who on the team, you told me the other day, because yeah. you didn't give me a name, mm-hmm. but name some names, dude. Who on the team was talking shit about you getting jerked off by Kazumi? I can't name names. Come on, dude. Because, no, these are professional relationships. I'm not a dummy. I can't name oh. names. But people were talking shit on me and shit, and a lot of people are quick to judge, you mm-hmm. know. And there's a lot of people who. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, the there's an insecurity mindset. there. It's usually yeah. an in, a deep rooted insecurity mm-hmm. because they're jealous and yeah. they wish they could be as sexual, or they just don't know about enough about it. Like, this is why. Like, I I really hate politics, and I don't want to get into it at all. But I think it causes so much divide. But I think things should be about more understanding. Like, yeah like oh cool like why did you get into that instead of like oh i can't believe like why are we stigmatizing a a, a platform just because it's about sex like everybody has sex so what if you do it on camera versus not we all have it and we've all been inspired by a porn and like i look at some porns and i have my whole life and like now jen i you know what i hear a lot from from people when they when they get down to the nitty-gritty when you're drunk or when you're high people tend to have some truth serum and then tell the truth i think a lot of people would do porn if they looked like they could do porn. I think a lot of people don't really believe that they look the part. I think it could be an aesthetic looks thing. I think it could also be like a sexual insecurity, like Mm. not knowing how to verbalize what you want, not even, especially for women, like not being comfortable in your, like giving your own self pleasure. Like some women don't even- Masturbate, yeah, they don't masturbate. A woman who will give me instructions. Yeah, we all, it, every it guy in the all. world, guys? Like, even Latinx Yamati, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, even Latinx Yamati, you gotta <laughs> love instructions. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna be completely honest. I was more nervous about coming on here than doing OnlyFans content. Really? That's right, dude. Yeah. That's right. Guys, well, guys, in a nutshell, they want things to be as easy as possible, mm-hmm. right? So, like, tell them how to get you off or what you like or whatever like Absolutely. this girl gave me a full 
pussy eating lesson Let's one go. day. I got a GED <laughs> in eating pussy. That's great, right, dude. You got to my life. Hey, you got to so, fucking thank her, dude. Well, you are the <laughs> Once a month, once a month, send her a fucking text thanking her, dude. Send her like, hey, flowers. buddy, hey, I just want to let you know that uh, y you really helped so, me out. So while we're on like the whole masturbation, like self pleasure, yeah, topic, I actually <laughs> my relationship to masturbation is interesting because when i was seven in dance class like we were doing this exercise like our hands were behind our head and our legs were crossed going up and down i think it was like an ab exercise or something and i had an orgasm without even touching what? my vagina like Jesus. my legs were crossed i was squeezing and keeling and like i just had an orgasm and so that's hot. um that's i crazy. obviously well, she was seven, cross. i was seven oh, oh, i did it down. i was seven like I, fucking down yeah, so, so i didn't no, know you it's were fine seven. it's actually an, it's an interesting fuck. it's an it's fuck. you're gonna get fucking bad for the nba bro what the it's fuck it's fine it's fine on? it's an Just interesting delete that delete that we're kidding we're kidding so cut that out yo awesome cut that shit out it's fine it's you didn't hear her you didn't hear you didn't hear you're drunk dude you're my drunk bad, which it's honestly not a big deal. honestly you should be thinking about your rehab more than drinking yeah. he's been drinking a lot jen it's and fine. i'm worried about his his future with the mavericks yeah yeah you should be hydrating yeah hydrate. with your water with yeah. your ph levels <laughs> yeah seriously <laughs> no but so mm -hmm. anyway i would have these like growing up to me orgasms weren't about um sexual like anything sexual actually when i had that i was like ooh, that's interesting that feels good what is that mm -hmm. i went home i tried to recreate it like grabbing my bed post with my legs up and down and whenever my parents would piss me off i would go have a re release nothing what? sexual that is so just funny. literally like aggression release getting <laughs> it out no i understand that when i was in elementary school i got sent outside of my classroom one time because i was talking in class and she wanted to use that as a punishment. You came? So I was like, you know what? I'm going to bust a nut in this hallway. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to show that bitch that I'm going to make this into a good time. Well, it Fuck actually is. Out of class. You know, speaking of elementary school, sick. there was like a time where I was doing it in school one day, like under the desk. Jesus. And the teacher's like, Jem, we called your row to go get your jack. And so I'm just like, one second. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, like I didn't like obviously say it out loud. I was very like nonchalant mm -hmm. about it. But can you yeah. recreate it now? <laughs> it's so funny. Um, not now, now, but no. can you still do it? I, I haven't, you That's know, a good question. I haven't tried in a really long time now with just because I have like my mm -hmm. magic wand and all sure. my vibrators and like oh, yeah. killer oh, abs. Oh, you said magic yep. wand. Yeah. You, you did that have you oh, ever, yeah, if you could do it, yeah. One mic, one mic. Have you ever heard of the hibachi? No. I oh haven't. my god. Oh, it's that it's giant. Gonna, it's gonna blow your mind. Yeah. You don't Was that what that. Kazumi had at her, at her house? I think Jen, I yeah, think she has like, a hibachi. I yeah. think you gotta keep it in the low grade vibrator world. Cause if you really start going into the intense shit, like what like what happens when you get used to that? Penis well, can't that's that is actually true. a thing. Like you because wanna... and I started at a very young age, like pleasuring myself so my body is so used to me doing it on my own. It's actually very hard for me to come from a guy or anyone. Wow. We got to do that experiment, you know what I mean? Because honestly, I've heard very good things about my methods, you know? <laughs> oh, you have, Ken Croc. Well, his name is Ken yeah. hey. BBC on Twitter. Listen, it, it uh, is. Now listen, but we want to yeah. apologize to you because we are a gentleman here and yeah, we're yeah, not yeah, about that gentlemen. lifestyle. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Fine. Look, I will put you in your place. Yeah, if you thank you, to be put in your place. If anybody makes you uncomfortable here <laughs> at the Leo and Danny show, you make sure you let I like them know. Yeah. I like yeah. Jen a lot. Now, yeah. on that note, on that note, on that note, we got... We got, uh, I'm Leo Tatavia. This is, uh, okay, we have to <laughs> Darshan. To this is Jenkins. Darshan Jenkins, a.k.a. King Croc. And Je Jen Rufo, tell us where to find you. Uh, Jen Rufo, all across the board, J-E-N-R-U-F as in Frank O, Instagram, Some OnlyFans. Great OnlyFans content. TikTok, yeah, um, yeah all the things. Thank oh, you yeah. so much. Do you want to send the MILF one last text Check message? Yeah, what'd she, what'd she respond to? What'd she respond? Yeah, yeah. We had, okay, uh, Jen, I'm going to group you in on yeah, this. Yeah, group me in. Uh, we, uh, th there was a, a MILF that uh, accosted our young dilettant over here austin schlosser who's he's a young man and she's old and he sucked on her boobs and then all of a sudden it got really like like weird okay. like they hadn't talked in a while so we tried to um uh, kind of revive it now yeah. so this is how it, this is how it went down you want uh, to read it from the top for jen wait this is this, uh, who's okay so she so this is what we have so far they haven't talked in a while. He, he he sends her a text message. 
Hey there, hottie, how you been? She goes, hi, Austin, dot, dot, dot. Good, thanks, dot, dot, dot. How are you? I like that. I like the multiple dots. Like it's like <laughs> that, that, that. you can right? tell she's a mom. <laughs> you can tell she's a mom. Yeah. She has an 18 year old son. <laughs> that's so funny, Jen. That, that's so true. <laughs> that, that, that. Totally a mom thing to do. So I I have this uh, I have this tactic. It's very immature of me, but I say in order to start some sexting, it to see if a girl's interested in you, you should say this line. I I told him to say I had a dream about you last night. In order to, for, so then she's like, "Oh, really? What was the dream?" And then, yeah. he, you know, so, so he he responds with, "She goes, hi, how are you?" And she he goes, "I had a dream about you last night." So she goes, "Details, happy face, which I like." Yeah. So then he goes, "So then this is where I tell you to take a kind of like a step back and kind of be like, I don't know if I can tell you, it's embarrassing and inappropriate to let her it ball balls in her court. If she wants to go down that route, she can." So she goes. Well, I hope it left you with a good feeling, happy face. Hmm. What do we say? So I think where you went wrong was uh -huh. the embarrassing and inappropriate. Because, like, why is it embarrassing and why is it inappropriate? Like, it... He's you could just say, boy. like, look, I don't <laughs> be like, well, he's you, playing you a part say... being the younger guy. Okay, he's, okay, playing okay. The, he's playing the he's younger gonna... role. So we thought it would be a good idea to say that. Yeah, because he's kind of playing like a role because I'll, I'll get Jen. If we're being completely honest, the goal of this conversation was for him to then ask for money at some point. I love yeah, it. She's a doctor. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Jen money. loves it. Jen oh, loves it. I, you know, I don't do double standards. I love yeah. it. Fuck yeah. Right. Get that you know, money. Get you. that money, Austin. So uh, so yeah. now we're uh, so so we're at like lo hope it helped left you with a good feeling. Yeah. Should, should we say, well, do you want to hear what the dream was about or do we say? No, let's say, like, let's reenact the dream. Oh, oh my God. That's even better. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Reenact. <laughs> or or, That's fire. or I, I could tell you about it, or we could just reenact it. Oh, Ooh. my God. Something I like that. Like I like that. that. I like that. That's what we're going to end <laughs> Thank you, Jen. That's Just awesome. send the link to the That's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, well, this has been the Leo and Danny show. Tune into the Patreon to find out what happens yeah. next. Yeah. And uh, oh, we yeah. we do a lot of Patreon. Uh, we do a one episode of Patreon, an extra one a week. Uh, check that out, please. And thank you for coming and enjoying this podcast. Daniel will be back next week. And Jen is yeah. going to plug Jen, her. Uh, Jen, Jen plugged her I did, stuff but thank already. Thank you guys for having me on. This was you were a lot of fun. <laughs> that, yeah, you were a lot of fun. Thank you. And of course, we got Latinx Paul Giamatti. Thank Paul you for Giamatti. coming. I'm going to plug myself or <laughs> plug yeah. yourself, buddy. Uh, Shitmang93 at Instagram. S H I E T M A N G 93. Let's really? Go. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Shitmang. Shit, well, I don't know. What's up? What's up? <laughs> I like it. I like All right, guys. Peace. Peace.